to the Batmobile. Let's go. How is copper oxidized? Hey Austin, I bought this piece of copper, but it's starting to turn green. Why? Well, Yijun, that's when copper starts to oxidize. You see, it's when the air starts to react with the copper and it turns it green. But why? <laughs> the formula is polyatomic. It's a direct combination of two elements or the oxidization of copper. The formula is 2Cu or O2 equals 2CuO. It's a synthesis reaction. This is a before and after of copper, and after it's been rusted away by the air, you can see that it's starting to turn green due to the oxidization. <laughs> but this is what it could look like! Yo, this is the bonding hood where all the reactants come to chill and become products with their homies. Oh, hey man, we be the coppers of this hood. We got like a atomic number 29. We got 29 electrons back at our crib. Oh hell no, Copper. This is Oxygen's grill. You best be trippin'. We got an atomic number of eight. We got eight electronic boys back at our crib. You best be flying out of here. You best be rolling out of here. We're way more conductive and we're non-magnetic. You best be ready to pull a atomic bomb me. Yo, get off our grill. Get off our crib, man. This is our turn. Hey, yo, man, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll beat you. Oh, no, get off. This is what happens when copper CU and oxygen O combine. It forms 2CuO, copper oxide. Which is when copper turns green. Patina. Yo, this beat copper. This is our gang symbol. We have one valence electron and 29 electrons. Oxygen here. This is our gang symbol. We got eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons. Easy to remember. The oxidation of copper has many uses, such as jewelry, roofing for homes, and art. <laughs>